well good morning guys um it is monday and let's see today it's gonna be in the 70s how exciting right oh good morning oh good morning i'm like just getting ready to do my yoga and like i don't really feel like doing it mostly just because the workshop that I'm doing right now on YouTube is led by an instructor that like they're a perfectly fine instructor they just talk like way too much between their like poses and things and it's just really aggravating me and it like pisses me off like I can't fucking get like focused enough to like enjoy doing yoga with this person um teaching a class but I'm gonna try real hard for day three of this bullshit and yeah now that I'm just absolutely sweaty and all done doing my yoga, I guess maybe I will make my smoothie and have a sesh. And then Zach and I are gonna get on out of here and go for a nice hike. He was supposed to work this morning, however, um, the guy called and canceled. I guess he had other things that he forgot he had to do or something. So Zach's gonna be chilling with me today. I think we're also gonna go maybe check my P.O. box, do some other things, I don't know. You know how hard it is to get these shoes on? Like, I'm not a fan of these shoes, but... Oh, there's gum on the bottom of this one. Two things that I'm super pumped on. The first one, Tea Guys Peppermint Matcha. And I got myself my hemp powder. Alright, so smoothie's all done. It's like a blackberry, blueberry, mango smoothie, I guess, with the with the mint. Third day using that stuff and they get better and better every day. Mm. But yeah. Thought that I would sit down and have a little wake and bake sesh before Zach and I Get ready to go on a hike. Yoga today was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I mentioned to you guys that I was not enjoying the instructor that I was um, doing this workshop with on YouTube. But today was really nice because it was mostly just like exercises versus like a flow of yoga which made it a lot easier if she's just going to like talk through the whole thing. I didn't, like, I just had to focus on, like, repetitive things and not, like, flowing through something. Yes, Griswold? What do you need? Come here. Come on up. Come on. Mm-hmm. My smoothie. My hand is all like discolored from getting the fruit out of the like frozen fruit bag. I washed my hair last night for the first time since I got it dyed and I'm sure that like there's definitely some color faded out of it. I was expecting that but it still looks like it's holding up pretty good so that makes me happy. I am on the very last of my Arcata train rack, um, so I'm going to have to go to Netta at some point here and grab some more, um, probably in like another week or so. Alright, well that's cooling. Turn this off. I have some more smoothie. Mm. Happy Monday, guys. If 
find myself a hat to wear, and we're gonna be ready to go. So we're just getting ready to leave, and I ran back upstairs to grab this bag. I've never actually had a chance to use it, and Zach got it for me. Zach, when did you get me this Dakeen bag? Two years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's give it a go. Got my phone. Got the extra battery. Got the King Goldenfish. Dog harness is gonna go on the dog. Zach's got the lighter and we're good to go. Alright Griswold, what are we not gonna do when we see a person? We're not gonna bark. Okay? There will be no barking. No harassing, no yipping. I don't even want to hear a growl, mister. Guys, that pep talk is only gonna last about three <laughs> seconds. Yep, told you. There it goes. <sighs> Where are we? He's so excited to be here. Look at, spring is happening. Springtime. There I got it all wet. <laughs> And of course, Mr. Griswold too, are just continuing our walk. We just passed the um, old stone bridge. It's like all mossy and stuff that Zach and I um, have stopped with you guys have many times before. And yeah, we met a adorable black lab, right? Black lab? It was an English black lab, so it was one of those chunky black labs. His name was Angus, of course. And the woman that owned Angus was a super sweet woman and Griswold was like making all sorts of angry noises when like he first saw Angus was like shrieking. And then of course like the moment that he sniffs this dog's butt he's just like oh my god we're best friends. Okay. So they splashed around in the stream for a little bit. But of course Zach was holding my camera and I was talking to the lady so I didn't get to take any video of that. I'm sorry if this whole segment is out of focus and I'm sorry that I'm out of breath. Zach and I are just walking to the little swamp area so that we can sit down and have a sesh with you guys. I lost, I think, um, no, here we go, we're good, we're good, I th we're good, we're good, got the lens cap. So we got like basically almost back to our car and we somehow missed the swamp trail that we were trying to go on, so back into the woods we go. I probably just have like mushroom spores all over my finger now, but be free mushroom spores, make babies. one of the pond spots that Zach and I like to come to and just chilling at the boat launch. 
I'm gonna try and skip some stones. I'm not really sure if there's like skippable stones here, but we're gonna find out. I absolutely love skipping stones. It's like one of my biggest peace bringers besides like doing yoga and spending time in the woods. So yeah, it is so bright guys. Like, I'm sorry if I just have like mm, face this whole time, but yeah, I guess I could turn my hat around, right? Oh, that helps a little bit, just a little bit though. They're all chunky, but they're all skippable. Yeah! Oh, I got too excited. I got a good feeling about this one, guys. Jinx myself every time. Okay, so I'm gonna find like five more stones to skip, and then Zach and I are gonna get out of here. I've never tried to do crow on something that's not the ground, so this will be kind of fun, I think. I hope. So Zach and I just got back from the grocery store. We got some mac and cheese cooking, some hot dogs grilling, and uh, we're just gonna play some Scrabble until it's done, and then just kinda hang out for a little bit. I will probably take a nap for a little bit and then edit pretty late into the night just because my computer and desk are um, in a room that we had like blanket it off for the winter and now that I've taken the blankets off of it, it's like incredibly bright in there and it's not a very good environment to be editing in so um, until I change that I just kind of have been editing at night and that sort of thing. Got that Star Wars mac and cheese! There is something so nostalgic about like macaroni and cheese with hot dogs cut up in it, right? So, um, I mean, I'm sure it's just because it was something that our parents fed us a lot growing up, but oh, I just feel like it's like a universal American like childhood meal. All right, guys. So I'm just getting ready to sign off here, and I realized that I wanted to. Um, share this with you. Um, I did go to the post office today um, and I was just about to open some subscriber mail. It will be my very first piece of subscriber mail um, and I realized that I probably should just share that with the Monday vlog. It would be a nice closer, that sort of thing, so. <coughs> Maybe I'll see what the package is and then I'll smoke a dab as a celebratory. Um, so I did open it but I have not looked inside. In advance, thank you to Jillian for sending this to me, a fellow mass hole, if you will. And oh my gosh, guys, look at like what the balls! This is so amazing. Jillian, if you are watching this video, please let me know down in the comments below if you hand made this. I'm, sh I think the answer is yes, but like, this is just so precious. Oh, I love the pockets. I love this. I love that green. Wait. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, you know me so well, you send me elements. Stop it. That's so freaking kind. I'm like... Look at the card.
Oh, so sorry guys, I was reading the back of it. Guys, there's a bug and he's harassing me while I'm trying to enjoy my mail. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Jillian, for this beautiful handcrafted bag. Yeah, if I just, you know, read the letter first, I would have gotten my answer, but I'm just so in love with this. I love the fabric. I love all the pockets on the inside and just thank you so much. Oh, this is such a good Monday, guys. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna have a dab to celebrate that before I, oh, I zipped my hair up in it. Zipped my hair up in it. That was uncalled for. <laughs> yeah, let's have a dab because, oh. Take my rig, ow. Oh. Yay. Oh, there's so much hair on this dabber. I'm just like in awe over this. Like what a beautiful piece of first subscriber mail. Thank you so much. I just love the little embroidered weed leaf on the front. Happy Monday.